Hey, what's up, YouTube? All right, today, so um, I'm going to make a video on how to install Nmap on Windows 10 or Windows 11. I've been getting asked that question a lot. You know, how do you install Nmap in Windows? Most people use it in the Linux operating systems, but you can use it in Windows also. And it's real easy to, to install. You just download a file, run the installation, and that's pretty much it. So um, let me open up, open up a browser. And we're just going to go into Google and type in download Nmap. From here, we'll go to Nmap's download page, select Windows, and then we're going to download the Nmap setup.exe file. Then once you do that, then you can just click open. I already have this installed, so it's probably going to it may reinstall. Let's hit next. Hit install. All right, that's it. So leave this checked if you want to um, end map icon on your start menu and your desktop icon. And that's it. I'm going to go ahead and run end map. All right, once you have it installed and you click on the desktop icon and you will load up Nmap. Now it's going to say ZenMap because ZenMap is the graphical user interface for Nmap. So don't worry, don't get that confused. This is Nmap. So from here you just select, you know, you give it a target IP address that you want to scan. Or if you want to scan a range of IP addresses you can do. Say 1 through 254. Or if you want to scan a specific IP address, just type it in like so. You can choose an intent scan. It's going to scan everything for open port services, things of that nature. You can do a full scan. Um, you can do a quick scan just to see or see if the machine is online. Or a regular scan would we'll ch we'll check to see if it's online and do a port scan and whatnot. So let's select a regular scan. Give it a couple of minutes. And this. Um, so 192.168.1.254, that's my wireless router. Um, so we scan that, and you can see port 53 is open, port 80 is open, port 443 is open. So here we have it, Nmap, um, running in Windows 10 or Windows 11. Works in any version of Windows, um, so it should be good to go. All right, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, hit subscribe, and um, I'll create you guys some new videos. Thanks.